In this video we're going to be creating the out of bounds effect and we're going to be using this these two pictures to do it. So first we're just going to click on the picture of the MacBook and then come down to the transform studio, click this button here and that'll just flip it around. And once we've done that we're going to bring back the picture of a train. We're going to move it around and place it where we want it. Lower the opacity so you can see there's some of the trains sticking out past the, uh, the screen of the MacBook which is what we want to make it look like it's coming out. And we're just going to adjust the size and get it where we want it. And once we've done that we're just going to bring the opacity back up. And then Hold your finger on the screen and let go so there's options and then just click on duplicate. So as you can see now there's two pictures of the train. Then we're going to hide the background photo and one of the pictures of the train. Go over to the pen tool, go in the smart mode and then we're just going to cut out the like front bit of the train. And then once we've done that, we're going to click on the To Selection tool and then we're going to go on the Layer Studio and then go on a Mask Layer and then Deselect. I'm going to bring back the rest of the photos. Now we're going to hide the pictures of the train so we've just got the picture of the MacBook and we're going to use the Pen tool again on Smart and cut around the screen of the MacBook. And then hit uh, to selection again. And we're gonna go on the erase tool over here. And then just brush where we've used that pen tool. And then deselect. Now we're going to bring back this picture of a train and then drag it below the picture of the MacBook. And then show the other picture of the train. And then just to make it look a little bit more realistic, we're going to add a new pixel layer. Go onto the brush tool, keep uh, the colour on black. And drag the pixel layer so it sits on top of the picture of the MacBook. We're just going to add some shading, so just colour in where the train would leave a shadow if it was actually sticking out. And then we're going to lower the opacity. And we're just going to do that again, just to add a bit more depth. and lower the opacity. 